If you guys have noticed, there's only three chairs here. That's because Farhan is taking a temporary break from the channel. So due to the pandemic, things are getting worse where we live. So Farhan's staying home just to be safe for safety reasons. And yeah. when things improve, then we'll be sure to have him back. Yeah, so going forward, it's just going to be us three for future videos. We have no problem coming here to record. We want to make content for you guys to enjoy. With that, let's get started with the video. Hey guys, we're time six here watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is season one, episode 18 called The Apartment. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you're notified as soon as we upload our videos. Also, if you want early access, get the next four episodes right now on Patreon. I'll have the full uncut reactions. Also, Discord benefits are now part of our Patreon page. Check that out if you can, link is down below. And let's get started right away. So again, your alibi is a mysterious stranger handed you the gun, made you put your prints on it, robbed the store, and then hid the gun in your underpants. <laughs> yeah, if you say it like that, it don't sound believable. In your okay, underpants. Captain, did you get my report on the Finley murder? Oh uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. What? Everyone stopped. Why is it Dad staring at me? You just called Captain Dad. You said thanks, Dad. What? No, I didn't. I said thanks, man. Do you see me as a father? Wait, did you say man? No. no. You said dad. He said man, dad. I think I see you as a father figure because you're always bothering me. Bother. Hey, show your father some respect. I didn't call him dad. But you did call him dad, dude. You shut up. You've done nothing but lie since you got <laughs> All right, I was lying about the whole though. But the dad thing, that happened. <laughs> he admitted that his alibi was a lie. It was a trap. I believe you. Thank you. Son. <laughs> Oh you God! Want to talk about it later, or uh... <laughs> why is he going along with this? <laughs> this is such an uncharacteristic Peralta maneuver. Usually, he would just go along with it. What? Like he'd be like, "No, he's embarrassed." No, he's embarrassed. Yeah. I know you'd all rather be at home binge watching media content. Oh, but... like us. Started the second season of media content. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> these are... Oh, these will be self evaluations, Santiago. Why? Uh... <laughs> I hate the Weekend Squad. Detective Lohig shaves at my desk and gets hair all over my computer. My R key is jammed with stubble. Ew. Well, yeah. find the email you sent about the goose of mother. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about my squad. I feel like a proud mama hen whose baby chicks have learned to fly. Interesting analogy, Sergeant. Chickens are famously bad at flying. <laughs> <laughs> is there any way I can borrow $430,000? Why on earth do you need that much money? I need to buy my apartment. I've been living at my Nana's place since she passed away because it's rent controlled, but now the building's going co-op, so I have to buy it. Shouldn't you be asking somebody else for that kind of money? Like a bank? Yeah, I tried that. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. I cannot believe you're doing this. I hate him and his face garbage. Ew! Uh, Dude. He's not even doing it. I don't know why. Next time I catch him shaving, I'm gonna punch him so hard in the mouth he bites his own heart. What? Could that be why he denies doing it? Oh yeah, you could be right. Yeah. <laughs> Can I interest you in an ice cold foudy? I. <laughs> that was so. How are we looking? That was so I ratchet. Think, but well, it seems illegal. They didn't tell you this was happening. Well, it's possible I missed a letter, but I doubt it. Ooh, let's check the mail tub. Mail tub. No. Oh no, my. No. This dumbass. I'd like to bring in Santiago next. She's had a great year. You want to see me, sirs? I was reading the sergeant's sirs. list through the window, and he either said bring in Santiago next or something about a San Diego nest. What is your biggest flaw? Um. My biggest flaw? Oh, Working God. too hard? No. Uh oh. Being too thorough? No. Too much? Being a kiss ass. How do you? Ew. Ew. Don't you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I make small loans to desperate losers and friends like you. Well, I'm happy this went terribly. Uh, we do have to go now, so please excuse us. Wait. I just need enough to show the co-op board I can make a down payment at the bank. How about $20,000? Two bags of ziti? That I can do. Bags of ziti. This is hazard right there. Just, Gina, how awesome and is he that? charges 20% interest? Come on, 20? Get on board. He said 20 points. Yeah. So what's your biggest flaw? 
my biggest flaw is I'm too competitive, prone to jealousy, bit of a killjoy, follow rules to a fault, oh. don't know how to relax, and every now and then I smoke a cigarette. <laughs> is that what you're looking for? Because I can keep going. I am deeply flawed. Santiago. Oh, no. Santiago and B-flat. You're disappointed. <laughs> Okay. We've been having marital problems. Right. Is your hygiene? What? No. I wish. No, about a year ago, she fell down the stairs and broke her back. Oh, no. Now okay. she's addicted to painkillers. We've been fighting a lot. Because I want to help her, you know? I guess I just love her so much. She's refusing treatment. Oh. We got into it again last night. I went out for some... They're going to feel bad? I forgot to close the door, and our dog Cinnamon got out. Oh. Cinnamon got hit by a drunk driver. What? I wish I could say she was put out of her misery instantly, but the, that assured us that her suffering was unending and terrible. Yeah, but you shave your hair on the desk. So. I'm sorry, just bending a little. I, I appreciate Bro, it. it's a dog. Fuck you. Hey, but that, that. Shut the fuck up. Why are the two of you doing this self evaluation together? Scully doesn't handle pressure well. <sighs> Not to brag, but Scully and I have a combined total of 14 arrests. Would have been 20, but. Well, I got 14. That's not enough arrests. Well, no one asked you. <laughs> it's a self-evaluation. <laughs> well, I told you these two are useless. I'm trying to hurry you. You grab the hair, break the part. You can't use your hands like that. Slippers. Just go. Bro, you can't. Watch, he was lying. What's going on here? I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for this, sir. Uh, we accidentally dropped all our loose hair and shaving cream in this locker, so we're taking it out. <laughs> Hasn't Detective Lohang been through enough? He just got diagnosed with prostate cancer. <gasps> what? Clean this up. Now. Of course he did. Should we turn some lights on? Trying to save electricity, Gina. Your massage chair is on. Yeah, I'm poor. I'm not a savage. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if I bought this apartment? What are you talking about? And then I could rent it to you till you find a new place. What? She has money? How could you afford this place? I could give you a fair rent because I would be your landlady. Whoa, whoa. That's crazy. You be my landlady? You're Gina. You're not better than me, okay? Wow. Jeez. I'm glad that I still own this, this place. guy. What would you say Holt thinks my biggest flaw is? Who cares what Holt thinks? What's most important is what I think your biggest flaw is. <laughs> and there are so many to choose from. Like too competitive, prone to jealousy, bit of a killjoy, your shame, cigarettes. Oh my God. Everything that she said <laughs> in the list. Huh? <laughs> throwing away your secret lists. Oh, okay. He had the list. I'll go. He just. <laughs> <laughs> Santiago is one of your best detectives, and all you wanted to do was play mind games with him. Scully and Hitchcock only arrested 14 people, but that's eight more than last year. They only <laughs> arrested six people last year? And I know you oh. have to be childish. Okay, sit down, Sergeant. Ooh. I'm going to do your evaluation. Ooh. Ooh. You're a good leader, and just the fact that you're willing to stand up for them is one of the reasons they respect you so much. I could learn something from you. You have every right to feel like I that. I thought it was going to yell. What was it you said this morning? Proud mama hen, sir. Proud mama hen. Out of way. <laughs> I felt stupid, so I acted out. I'm sorry. Yeah, you were stupid, and you should be sorry, Jake. Also, you should buy Nana's place. Not for me. You should live there. Where are you going to live? Here. I'll sublet from you. All right. Sick Jake! Yes! <laughs> My biggest flaw is that I care too much what you think of me. Oh. I should be more confident in my own judgment, and I am so sure of that. I don't even care if you think I'm right. Evaluation over. Enjoy your soup. <laughs> he likes her. He likes her soup. Sure. That is true, though. She cares too much about what <laughs> the captain's doing. Yeah, same thing. I mean, I said she's a kiss ass. Yeah. It's all the same thing. Yeah. Maybe she'll stop now. Mm. Nah, I think that's her nope. character. Nope. She yeah. admitted, no, no, she is flawed. She, this is just her admitting it. This is not her saying she's Yeah, you can admit it and still keep doing yeah. it. This is about admitting your flaws, <laughs> not about doing anything. It's not about making any changes. Because at, at the end of the day, she's still a good detective, right? Yeah. She doesn't have to change. But, you know. They're giving Gina a lot of... I am liking her more now. Yeah. They're, they're giving her like a bunch of redemption. <laughs> yeah, from that one o episode. Opportunity for, <laughs> for redemption. Well, yeah. that one episode really like... I don't know. But yeah, now now she's now she's good. yeah now I like her, and she's cool. So she's gonna live at his old place, and he's gonna live 
At the one that got bro- broken into mm-hmm. in the other episode. Which is fine to start our apartment. Mm-hmm. Hey, maybe this is a good opportunity for Jake. He can sell all of his massage massage chairs and all of his useless stuff, and then he now should. he can set up a good apartment in the uh, new place. Well, you know how expensive massage chairs are. Like you can make so much money. Like Nine hundred bucks per, or more. Well, a good one, yeah, a good one can be, yeah. Yeah. Even over no, I mean, even up to fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. I like Canadian, it. you know. And bro, how much was <laughs> the Best Buy chair, the Supreme one, like mm-hmm. the, the ultimate ultimate Best Buy chair? This one. Yeah, like the highest one. What was it again? Like two grand or something. Oh no, the or highest the one, like these ones? Yeah. These ones the highest one for four chairs was around seven thousand dollars. Yeah, seven thousand for four yeah. chairs. But those ones are like they got electric lumbar, electric headrest. Yeah. It's way too fancy for us. It has the <laughs> lumbar support. So even though we're climbing like bro, the the cup holders they light up, they come out also. It's freaking no machine. It's too much. You have Ooh. to buy four? <laughs> no. <laughs> That comes in. But I was looking for four, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's the price. It's still like over $1,000 per. That's crazy. Yeah, that means at least $1,500 per chair. Yeah. No, but now I forgot about that. But I always wanted to get a massage chair. It's been years since I've been in one since. I I forgot I wanted one, but yo, that might be my next investment. Yeah, they're good. That's huge, bro. (sighs) Maybe one day we can get a bunch of massage chairs up in here. (laughs) <laughs> on the, our, our whole video is gonna be like just like, rumbling uh, out. <laughs> it's gonna fuck up the audio. Hey, you guys just go and like work out. Yeah, if we should, we should go work out super hard and then just come and just pass on the chairs. Yeah, no, I used to do that. Uh, the, my gym had massage chairs in it, right? Yeah. So after work, after workout, just chilling there for like fifteen minutes. It's good times though. Yeah, it's having a good life. I'm so freaking pissed. Like it's been so long since I've been to the gym. I just, built our gym in my room. It's like three years. Yeah, you built your own gym. Like, I, I don't have anywhere to build it. I bought dumbbells. I bought... I mean, yeah, dumbbells are expensive as fuck. No, these were cheap. How much? Well, it I depends on the weight. Like a hundred. Oh, or what's, what, what weight? Well, it, you, it would come in a set, right? Yeah, yeah the, like the set. 40 pounds. It's not a lot, but it's something. Yeah, the problem, like, I, I need, like, progr- weight. progressive weights, or weights, right? Yeah, exactly. So then it gets really expensive. Well, what, I, set. what I'm doing is I have these... Um, you have to work down, right? The strings, what do you call them? Oh, resistant bands? Yeah, yeah. resistant yeah. bands. And I use them to add weight. Add weight. Huh, How? I think that would work. No, that no. would work. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Wait, let's go back. <laughs> Shit keeps happening. So let's talk about a uh, buddy. What's his name? The, the freaking mm-hmm. shaving guy. Yeah, he's in a dark place. Like He's having like really rough times, but still, like he's, he's being a complete, like, he's, he's so ignorant. Shaving and then blowing it all over. Have... Like he... Oh no, she did try talking to him and he yeah. denied it. He, he denies it. Well, I, I don't well, know, man. But he, him denying it apparently is. Yeah, but even then, she talked about it and he still does it. And like, purposely, we saw him. Actually, no, Boyle's point on. was also correct. It's like, he's probably scared to accept it. Yeah, and... but then why would he keep doing it? He would stop. Because you his... can't have a conversation if you're scared of the person. Well, no, but she... yeah, but if, if he was really scared of her, he would stop. Would be afraid for his life, right? Because depends he what the keeps conver- doing it. Depends what the conversation was. If she asked him, like, oh, did you do this? And he said no, then that's not enough. But if she said, oh, I know you did this, but I want you to stop, then, you know, you could blame him. Yeah, no, no, you're right. I'm just saying, given the context, if he's, uh, if he is truly afraid Bro, of her, I'll give him a stop. pass. <laughs> no, I'll give him the his pass. His life too. is fucked. But he has to stop, though. Let him blow he has some to stubble. Stop. <laughs> no. Never mind. Nah, dude, fuck that guy. Dude, fuck, you, dude, he's my okay. shit. I don't, I don't know that guy. Dude, I don't care if his life is ru- ruined. Why is he ruining mine? That yeah. doesn't make sense. No, no, nah, nah, fuck he, that. He's not no, a nice person. Because I know bastards. if I was going through that shit, I wouldn't be doing that. So why is Bro, he... that would, you wouldn't even acknowledge what you're doing. You have your own stress. He's like he's like a drowning he's a drowning victim, you know? You just pull whoever you can. Down under you to pull okay, it's not up. that serious what he's doing. <laughs> like, relax. He's not ruining your life. Yes. <laughs> okay, my well, keyboard, bro. You better not show my keyboard. Bro. Imagine, dude. dude. Yesterday, my my uh, my down arrow key on my laptop, something got caught in under it. Dude, I was having a seizure. I was getting so mad trying to. You were having it. a seizure. Bro, imagine, you dude. Oh, you're freaking imagine, dramatic as fuck. Imagine as if like you went to go press down the key and it, it wouldn't work. 
You're being low dramatic. If you have OCD. You were having you a would, seizure. You would also get really upset. He just means he was upset. <laughs> no, I, I know what he means. I'm yeah, just so, saying he's being dramatic. Okay, you know when you get really mad and you start shaking? Yeah, I, like, I don't anger. know what he means. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> you ever seen someone shake with anger? It's a real no. thing. Okay, uh, going, moving on from that. I don't know how they cleaned up the locker. That would take a good couple of hours. I thought I was gonna see that. It's impossible. There's, they would have to take out everything, clean. Yeah, everything, there's stuff clean. in there like clothes and books. How are you gonna clean that? You have to put it in like the washer or something. Oh, they would have to though, because yeah, they have to clean. I it think out. Rosa's starting to like uh, boil. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I think that conversation was a like a like con- kind of conversation. But right? no, no, no. I, I, you're both right. I think Rosa. Is de- she even said it that she that she thinks he's cool now. Yeah. No, but she also said, yeah, that was weird the way you were all into me. Yeah, but he, oh she, yeah, no. no. She's just saying that In to general. go along with it, right? Because now uh, she uh, he told her that he's moved on, right? So she's just going along with it. She doesn't. She I think she likes him. No, no I think you're both right. I think that it's purely amicable. But her th- liking him, even on a friendly way, improves his chances of getting with her. That means that she likes. Period. Even if it's just as no, a friend. No, I agree that she, she likes, likes him, him as a friend more. As a friend. Yeah. yeah even as a friend, though. Yeah, she likes him as a friend. Yeah, but that, that, that's like yeah. that's like the first step. Though, right? I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's too soon to uh, say that she likes him no, as, that yeah, way. I don't think she likes him romantically. I think that she likes him as a friend, but that's a start. You know, that's mm-hmm. in the towards the direction of her eventually liking him. So the self evaluations. <laughs> I think the funniest joke in this episode was Hitchcock and Scully. <laughs> First they said. What was the number? Oh, it, it's, it, was, it was 14, but hold on, it gets better. We would have gotten 20, 20, but we only got 14. <laughs> no, and then, and then he says they got six last year and eight year, this year. Yeah. That means with their combined 50 years, they only got their first ones last year. Wait, what? No, he wasn't combining the 50 years. He just said last year compared to this year. Exactly. And there's 14 total, right? Yeah, and this two year. years. Oh, in between the years. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not 14 in the 50 years, no, that makes no bro. sense. Yeah, that's what I meant. I was like, that's embarrassing. No, no, no. no the funny part was like, oh, uh, like uh, Captain Holmes was like, oh, that's not enough. He's like, oh, who asked you? That's, this is a self evaluation. <laughs> Let's go, Sully. <laughs> Sully's dying over here. He can't even talk. He's so choked up. Yo, I knew right away that they would do it together. They're always together, yo. Yeah. That's hands down the funniest moment of the episode. Um, Jake's was whatever, I mean. Yeah, why didn't he ask Jake what his, his flaws? No, because he wanted Amy to realize. Did we even get Rosa's? Oh, we didn't get Rosa's. Did we get Boyle's? No. Bro, they were too busy filling up a locker. Oh, that's true. That's why they didn't get it. Um, we covered all the stories, right? Uh, the apartment, yeah. The detect, the, the stubble, and the stuff. Yeah, we covered everything. I mean, we keep getting these, uh. These perps that are, they always admit to the crime like immediately. Oh, the cold open. Just to disapprove an argument <laughs> yeah. or confirm an argument that's going on in the workplace. Oh, oh yeah. That was a funny cold Jake open. called the uh, whole dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the dad thing. It, it, it makes sense. It wasn't like a running gag for the episode. I thought it was going to be. But they did bring up that uh, both him and Gina didn't have fathers. So maybe yeah. that'll come in later also. They had the same father. Maybe that. <laughs> Nana. Okay. Alright guys, that was Brooklyn 99 episode 18. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon page, early access, and full reactions, and see you next week. Peace.